Hey, hi and hello, I'm Angry Gorilla and happy Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year event has rolled around once again for 2024 and it has been an amazing start, okay? So I'm loving it. Um, I'm not gonna go into the details of what you can and can't do for um, the Lunar New Year. Um, you've got some great videos out there already. You've got Young Cabbage, he's got a video detailing Lunar New Year, Petrowski, there's, you name it, it's been covered. So I don't want to sound like a broken record. Um, but there are instantly just off the top of the head, you can just use do your shrine runs with link members or with random people. You can do um, catching swarm Pokemon and turn them in for Zodiac tablets. Um, and yeah, so you got the four, you got the five main cities that are detailing the Lunar New Year. You've got Celadon City in Kanto, you've got Ecroteak City in Johto, Slateport City in Hoenn, um, Hearthome City in Sinnoh, and Necreen City in Unova. So there's those if you want to do shrine runs or turn in your swarm ones. But what I want to showcase today is the raid den locations. So raids are implemented into the Lunar New Year this year as well as having a boss. So what I'm gonna showcase is every Raid Den location. Um, there has only been three out at the time of recording. Um, here are the three that I have defeated. So we had Lopunny, Perugly, and Grumpig. Um, there are some great strategies out there on how to defeat the boss. Um, if you check out Cav, I'm gonna put some of his videos up on the screen right now, showcasing some of the strategies that you can have. Okay, so we're going to look into Sinnoh now for this video. Um, the 12 raid den locations in Sinnoh can be found. The first one is gonna start off here in Orobor City. So we wanna make our way north, go down these steps. We wanna go up this ramp down this little path here, under the bridge, up these stairs, and here is the first raid den location. The second raid den on our list is going to be found in Route 210. So I suggest starting from Celestic Town instead of Celacion Town, um, as well as you'll need a Pokemon that has Rock Climb. So once you leave Celestic Town, you make your way east, cross that bridge, up that stairs, don't need to worry about the fog, You'll go across these two bridges. This is where rock climb is useful. So we make our way down. We can rock climb up, back up. And here we are at the raid den. The third raid den location on our list can be found in Route 212. I suggest going from Pastoria City instead of Hearthome City as well as you'll need a Pokemon that knows the HM Cup. So we make our way out of Pistoria City. We go west, past this guy. We're gonna use a cut on this little tree here. Head up these stairs, across the balancing beam, down these stairs, cut this tree one more time, or just run it through there, I didn't even realize that. And then here is the Raid Den location. Fourth is found here in Valstone City, or south of Valstone City in Route 214. So starting in Valstone City, we make our way south out of the city into Route 214 where we can run all the, all the way down south Pass all these trainers, and here we are at the Raid Den. So in fifth, the Raid Den location can be found in Route 217, starting from Snow Point City. This one is going to take some time because you cannot use your bike on the snow. But we run out of the city, towards the west. Might be handy to pop a rappel, so... But yeah, we will sink into the snow a fair bit. So we run south. Now we go west, past this fighter 
this fighting trainer. And then we can see the raid den right here. So there we are in Route 217, south of Snow Point City. Next on our list in 6th is Route 221, which can be found if you leave Sand Gem Town. So you do need Surf. I'm going to pop a Max Repel there. So we head south from Sand Gem Town. We make our way all the way along here. And we can go down. Now we're in Route 210. And we can see the Raid Den just there. Okay, so definitely need Surf for that one. Seventh on our list is going to be found in Route 222. So the best spot for that to start off with is Sunny Shore City. So we make our way west out of the city through the terminal. Once we're through the terminal, we can just run along the path onto the sand. And here we can see the raid den. The eighth raid den will find you going to survival area and heading towards Route 225. You will need a Pokemon that knows Surf. So we make our way through this grass. Now we go east, up these little stairs, up those stairs, and then we want to surf on this body of water. Head north, and here we can see the raid den. The next raid den is found in Eterna Forest, so starting in Eterna City, we want to make our way west. Head into a turn of forest. Head south. And here is the raid den in a turn of forest. The tenth one is going to be found in Fugo Ironwork. So starting here in Floroma City. Floroma Town, sorry. You can then surf once you get to this bridge. I have a Repel active, which will be useful. And once you surf all the way north, you'll come across the Raid Den. The 11th Raid Den will take you to Canalava City, where you need to get to Iron Island. So in order to get to Iron Island, you will now talk to this sailor. Head up these stairs into this cave. Once you've entered the cave, I'd suggest popping a rappel. We want to make our way up these stairs, down these stairs, up these ones, and we go down the platform. We want to go our way to the left now. The left, we go along so like this past this barrel, up these stairs, down these stairs, up those, and onto the platform there. Once we're in here, we can go up this platform, and instead of going out of the cave, we want to go into this little room here, which then leads us to the raid den. If any of that was too fast, or you want to slow it down, by all means, go back in the video, slow it down, really make sure you're going to where you need to go inside Iron Island, because there's a lot of dead ends in the cave. So the 12th and final raid den will be found if you go to Ravaged, pa Ravaged Path, which can be found north of Job Life City. So starting in Job Life City, you can then head north up this grass and into Ravage Path. You do need Rock Smash, because there would be a rock, a rock there, and you will need Surf. So we surf up the top here, 
Then we go to the left. We want to smash this rock. We want to smash this rock. We want to smash this rock. And finally this rock. And here we are at the final raid den location. So there you have it. That's all 12 raid den locations found for Sinnoh. Um, go out and get your own raids. Um, if you have not checked out, I will not stress this enough. Hit up Cav. He has some of the best strategies going into some of these battles. And at the time of recording this, we have just had Ampharos. So, so far, these are the, all the raid bosses that we've had so far. So, go out. Get your own OT core or OT um, raid boss. It'd always be good to have. As well as it's got a few good things. It's got the sp uh, spirit of spring particle effect. So hopefully this is a straightforward guide. Um, so you can find every raid den if needed. Um, have a look at some of the other um, of the locations that I've put out so far already. I've put out Kanto, Johto and Hoenn. But sometimes there are always easier den locations than others. But if you like this video, leave it a like. Comment what you're liking about the Lunar New Year event so far. I'm loving it. I do need to finish off my Zodiac tablets. I know that. Um, I want to I wanna get all of them. I think I've only got the rat and the ox. So I've got a bit of work cut out for me. There's still 10 days left. Plenty of time. So definitely get in amongst the Lunar New Year event if you haven't done so already. But if you want to keep up to everything PokeMMO related on the channel, subscribe. It's not expected, but I would love your support. So like always, look after yourself, keep cool, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.